this is Karen Lanning from the YMCA of Greater Michigan, and we are going to work on a strength and conditioning class. Um, it is an hour, and we're going to be focused again on working on 45 second segments with 15 second break. You will need either two um, weights that you can use um, for the different exercises, or if you have a bar available, grab your bar. Um, you might want a mat. If you have a bench, you can grab that. If not, you can do all of this without the bench. And let's see. That should pretty much be it. Hopefully those two weights that you have um, will work for everything. If not, you might want a second set of plates. All right, we're going to get started with a warm-up. Take your time as you ease into the warm-up. If you track your work, make sure that you turn your tracker on. And make sure you have a clear space to work in for safety. All right. We're just going to get started with some nice easy taps. So make sure you're keeping an eye on your area so that you're nice and safe. Jump, last one, skaters. We stay low and 
loaded. So bend the knees. Core stays tight. Chest is lifted. If you want, you jump, but only it's if it's safe. Otherwise, bend in. Go deeper. I always like to think about Paolo Gantan Ono skating. Right? Be focused. Get low. Use those powerful legs. Woo! Jingle in the medals. Keep going. 20 seconds. All right. We're almost there. We're going to have a small time to grab our bars or weights. And then we're gonna get right into deadlifts. So go ahead and grab that bar. Heels under hips. Nice big shoulder roll, hands thumb distance. We're gonna take it down and up. Chest stays lifted. I'm gonna turn to the side. You're pushing that bar into the legs. Squeezing the back of the body to pull up. If you're a regular weightlifter, you might extend that range of motion. If that's too fast, you can go slower. 10 seconds. Now the music will change throughout. If you don't like the music I've picked, you just pick your own and play it. All right, bar weights go down out of the way. We're gonna come in, we got a 15 second break. And then we're gonna come back to toe taps. We're gonna have a little cardio, and then we'll go back to those deadlifts. Toe taps, bench, 45 seconds. So pace yourself. Pay attention to your heart rate. Breathe deep in through the nose. Exhale gently through the open mouth. watch your neighbors during your workout or they might they be might watching get to watch you. you but we're gonna keep moving 10 seconds all right 15 second break coming breathe deep grab a drink of water if you need it get your bar your weights now you could take a wider hand position if you wanted your choice, get ready, it's deadlifts again. Bar down, squeeze and lift. I'm taking a little wider hand position, going a little slower to start. If you're ready for singles, go right ahead. Kinda depends on the weight you have on your bar. But we're pulling the belly button in tight to the spine, and we're pressing the heels to the floor to help activate the back of our bodies. You're squeezing those hamstrings and glutes to lift. All of the back is staying strong. One more. Bar goes down again, out of the way. We've got another round, 45 seconds of toe taps.
five seconds. If you want to just stay down and row the whole time, I really want you to feel that pinch of the shoulder blades to the spine. Woo. Maybe you just want to get a couple, come up, grab a couple singles, and then come back down and get a few more. We got 10 seconds left before it starts to beep. Elbows stay like railroad tracks right up to the ceiling. Bar goes down again, weights down. Round toe taps, core tight. Check to make sure if your bench is moving. Pull it back in a little bit. I had to put mine on a mat to help keep it still. And we get those toe taps. Now if you're like me, you might be a little limited on space. So just know that you might need to take a little extra time to make sure your area is safe. Do what you need to. change the target of my bar. Shoulders back and down, chest lifted, core tight. We drop to knees, but we pull the rib cage if you're going wider with me. Big pull from the back of the body. And again, if you want, you can stay with these singles, or you can just stay here and pull. Right to the bottom of that rib cage. Elbows are out wide, but slightly angled. Knees to ribs. You're squeezing your booty. Core is engaged. And I get this forward on the floor. Last one. Bar down. Last round of toe taps coming up. This is kind of our routine. We got five rounds. Toe taps are the cardio for this round. Each round has two segments of work. And then we're going to have a nice 10 minute core section to finish. Woo! That's going to feel fabulous. We'll hit the whole core. So don't tap out early on me. Stay for that whole core work. It is going to be great. The finishing touch. Pick it up if you want. Five seconds. Now you're going to come back to your weights or the bar. Upright rows are coming next. I'm going to just show you with the first round with weights. Set those heels on the hips. Big shoulder roll, hands to the front of the thighs. We're gonna pull up, just below. Elbows are out wide. They stop below shoulders. Core is tight. If you want, you can make it more of a high pull and give me a little heel raise. Keep the back end working and warm. 15 seconds. Keep the bar close to the body. Keep the shoulders back and down. So you want to have great posture through this move. Can you get one more? Fabulous. Okay, weights down. This time, the cardio is jacks or side taps. You choose. Core tight. Get ready. Jacks. You can take them here. You can take them here. Get low and load up those legs. 
You can make them a nice body attack warm up jack. You decide. You can alternate. I don't want you, Dad. I want you to help me and fit. Right? That's right. Soft knees. Knees are slightly outward. That lets the heels tap down. Keeps the knees tracking in line with the foot. Helps to hit our gluteus medius because we're using it to open our knees. Five seconds. Woo, a little breather. All right, we're going to come back to that upright row. If you want, again, you can grab the bar. You can even take a wider hand position. Heels under hips, shoulders back and down, core tight. Let's go up. So you can take it with or without the heel lift. Elbows wide, bar coming right about mid chest. Core tight. Pull the belly in towards the spine. Right here, squeeze the glutes. Whether you're lifting or not, engage your glutes. Elbows stay wide. Woo! Five seconds. Put that bar down. Shake it loose. We come into jacks again. Five seconds. Beep, 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 beep. Go. So we're breathing. We want this cardio to lift the heart rate. Not out of our high zone. Into that nice mid range. I'm about 130. Just enough to burn. A little bit of fat. Get those calories going. In case you've been snacking like I have. More time. Okay, we've got clean and press next. Again, you can use the bar. You can use dumbbells, plates. Oh, get ready. Hands thumb distance from thighs. Check overhead. Make sure you're not going to hit anything. Shoulders back and down. Elbows wide, then under. Press right back to the collarbone, and then the elbows come over. From the side, you're pulling the elbows just like that upright row we did, but you get a little squat. You're catching at the collarbone, and as you straighten, the arms come up and over. At no point does the bar move away from your body. That would be a reverse curl. That is not what we do on the clean and press. It's quick. Since we're using light weights and moving fast, we want the positions to be precise. Okay, weight down. We come back to jacks. Woo! Jacks, 45 seconds. Bend the knees, let the heels tap. So I don't know if it looks like snow angels on your video, but that's what I'm seeing. The arms are making a little delay. You see the snow angel, Fib? Yeah, first. Now, this just isn't getting your heart rate where you want it to be. You can make them star jacks, right? Yeah, first. Oh, yeah. Always an option. Ten seconds. Oh, yeah. He couldn't help himself. Hold. Clean and press again. I'm going to do this set with weights and not a bar. Same thing. Just have to imagine that there's a bar. Heels under hips. Shoulders roll back and down. We press. We catch. We keep the bar 
or the weights close to our bodies. Now it's a little harder to work without the bar on this clean and press. If you have a mirror to look in to make sure you're uniform on side to side, that's going to help. We usually have a dominant side, so we want to really try as we have independent weights to keep it equal. 10 seconds. Sink into that half squat, press up high, catch. Two half squats for every clean and press, weights down. All right, another round of jacks. You know where your heart rate is. If you need more, make them all air jacks or alternate. You could jack, air jack, jack, air jack. You could tap, then get a couple jacks. This is your chance to push on this last round of jacks. There you go. 23 seconds left. Don't run for the finish line too fast. Get it, babe. Keep pushing if you're at home. Do what's right for your body. Land in a nice squat, knees bent, if you're jumping. Woo! Round three. We have rear deltoid flies. Oh, let's get those single weights ready. Come to that deadlift position. Squeeze. Now, arms are slightly bent. Torso is angled up. Hands go wide. They stay in line with the chest. You're pinching those shoulder blades to the spine. 15 seconds. Now, if you've only got one set of weights and they're super heavy, do one nice and slow. Oh, don't dance, don't dance. It's Snoop. All right, put it down. Now, we're gonna come into a round of squats. Feet outside of hips, toes slightly turned out. Core stays engaged. You can stay with a single squat. We drop those hips like they're hot. We drop them back and down. Now, if you want, you add a jump to it. If you're jumping, you lay down softly on the toes, knees are bent, and then they sink into that squat. If you want something in between, give me a squat with a heel raise. So again, we want those arms involved to help lift our heart rate during this cardio section. Core tight. 10 seconds. Soft landing on the balls of the feet. Last one. Woo! All right, another round. Deltoid flies from the bent over position. Heels under hips. Shoulders back and down. Core tight. Let's go. You can go fast. Slow. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Park it like it's hot. Park it like it's hot. In like the squat, but in our deltoid flies, we are going control. So squeeze. Feel that pinch right at the top. And then resist on the way down. Now, our next move after our cardio is going to be chest flies. If you have a bench, you're going to head there after our cardio set. Otherwise, you're going to lay right down on the floor on your back. All right. We have squats first, squats first, squats first. We got our cardio first. Toes turned out, feet wider than hips. All right, let's get them. Up and squeeze. Big jump. Or really sink in. Five. 
just back and down. You can feel that pressure in the heels. You know you're sitting back. You can also check to make sure at the bottom you can see your big toe, maybe second and third toes as you open those legs with the glute knees. Five seconds. Now we get ready to head to the bench for those chest flies. I'm going to do a quick angle. I was dropping it like I was hot. My husband dropped it like it was hot. All right, shoulders are back and down. Think great posture on the bench. Slight bend in those elbows, arms out. Now, we're keeping the hands in line with the chest. And if you're working out with somebody else today, you might have to alternate the up and down. Inhale and exhale. When you lift those hands up, I want you to feel the pinch in the chest. When we did those rear deltoid flies, we pinched at the back of our body. Now you're focusing on pinching right here at the sternum. Go ahead. Slide bend in those elbows. Core tight. Put the weights down. Come on up. We've got another round of squats. Squat jumps if you want them. Woo. Core tight. Now, if you get a little dizzy when you go down to the floor and then come back up, just take a few reps here. Go all the way pressure. to the couch now. All the way to the couch? Did Don't I say couch? Don't go all the way to the couch. Don't go to the couch. Stay with me. You know how us instructors get willy-nilly in the middle of the workout. It happens at home, too. I want you to jump like the floor is hot. Woo! Can you reach the ceiling? Nope. No. Nope. <laughs> Maybe it's just a big squeeze here. Feel that backside squeeze. Almost there. One more round of chest flies. Not on the couch, on the floor, the bench. Now, if you were visiting a little too closely with your quarantine buddy, move over. Get ready, shoulders back and down, inhale and exhale. You're pushing those shoulder blades down to the floor. You feel a little lift in the chest. Now, if you've only got lighter weights and you're not feeling enough, just pulse here. Keep those muscles in constant working position. One gallon water jugs. One to two pounds, one to two inches of movement if you're pulsing with me. Yeah, we got water jugs, those are great. But we're breathing, our core is engaged to keep our lower back safe. Full range, pulsing, whatever you like. And up. Hey, another round of squats. Squat jumps. Woohoo! Make sure your area is safe. Core is tight. Let's get them. Woo! Crazy love. Crazy love for squat jumps. Crazy love for burpees. I saved those for the end. Core tight. Chest lifted. Jump if you want. 25 seconds left on this round. Sink those hips back and down. Can we get a little deeper? Powerful, right up. Woo! Even if you're not jumping, make it powerful at the top. Squeeze. Can you 
get lower. 20 seconds. Be upright. That pulsing is not for you. Make it a single lunge, single curl. Make it right for your body. All right, this round is skaters. So we did a lot of front work right there with those lunges. Now we're gonna work our lateral. Woo, get ready. I'm gonna lunge left or right. So just find your rhythm. And then if you want more, you jump. We wanna get low, but still keep the chest lifted. Crazy love. Bam, bam, bam. My group knows I like to sing, so if you're new to me, there is some bad singing throughout classes. Keep going, keep going. 15 seconds. Can you speed it up? Maybe it's a tap. Maybe it's a jump. It all works. Almost there. Hold. All right, we're going to take the other leg back for lunges and pulse those curls again. Big stride, hips and shoulders forward, pulse. Small movement in the pulses. Lunges and curls. trouble there. Things are going up and down. I was actually thinking of Arnold because there was a little video about him pumping iron and how the blood flows in and stays put. Yeah. All right.
me want to pause. Skaters seem so easy, but they should be doing a good job at raising your heart rate. Almost there, almost. Keep pushing. All right, get ready. Grab those weights. We got those tricep extensions again. Other leg is back. Elbows by the forehead. Shoulders back and down. Core tight. And pause. Don't hit the floor. Not yet. Save that for the last 10 minutes. Front knee is open. Front heel is pressing against the floor. Back knee is dropping. Remember your options are singles or pulling into a split stance and pulsing here. Shoulders stay back and down. Core is tight. Stay with it. Take that weight down to the top of your shoulders. Woo! Skaters. One more round. Heart rate up. Mine is. Now, if you're working on your heart rate, you might need to take your cardio down a notch. Because the next round is going to have burpees as the cardio. So if you're in your red range, take it down with me for a little bit. Oh, yeah, so I could help it. My Zumba class knows there's an opportunity for a shimmy or a booty smack. We're taking it. Yep. So our goal here is to lower that heart rate if it's too high. But if it's not high enough, get after it. Go. Move it faster if you need to. shoulders back and down. Balance on your right foot. Lift that left leg out. One side to start with. I want you to focus on keeping your hips still. Now on those side raises, the arms are at 90 degrees. And we're keeping elbows below shoulders. Our goal is not to touch that foot to the floor, to really work the standing leg, the core, and the outside of that left hip. Five seconds. Remember which leg you lifted. Oh, don't lose your balance. This is the section for burpees. So if you need to, clear your space. Remember, your option is standing, or floor burpees. I don't care what you do. Do what's right for you. If you're taking standing arms overhead, right knee, left knee, squat, lift or jump. Right, left, squat, jump. You can speed that up or slow it down depending on your heart rate. Mine is too high. So I'm going to take it right here. Got to snap the other side. And Heather, if you're watching, I'm expecting you to give it a booty smack too. Ten seconds of burpees. Woo! All right, grab those small plates again. Same side raise with leg lift, but on the other side, shoulders back and down. Balance into that left leg. Arms bent at 90. Side raise. Our goal is for our torso not to tip. You gotta concentrate. If you're having balance issues, tap a toe down, tap a toe out, or you can find something to fixate on straight ahead, or something on the floor. About six to 10 feet in front of you, depending on how tall you are. Remember, elbows stay below shoulders. 
shoulders. It's a side raise, so we still use great technique. We're just adding this balance and strength component.
place to work. Come on down. We hover, elbows below the shoulders, arms parallel. You can be on your knees with knees hip distance, toes are on the ground, or heels up. 45 seconds, same thing we were doing. You want to have a nice flat back, core tight. If you're looking for more, try to pull those elbows towards your belly button. Squeeze those quads. Pull everything in towards the midsection. Feel how your muscles have to engage more. Still breathing if you need. You put one knee down. Bring it back up and put the other knee down for a little breather. Otherwise, still breathing. Nice, flat, strong backside. Fifteen seconds. A little stretch if you need it. We're going to come into mountain climbers. If you need a standing mountain climber option, take it. Give me a high knee run and a booty kick. Otherwise, hands below shoulders, knees in. You can walk your mountain climber. You can jog it. But we want to keep those shoulders above the wrist. And you're probably using flat hands, but I've got some wrist issues right now. And I'm going to make a fist to help give my wrist support. So do what's right for your body. Even us instructors have to do that. Still breathing, right? All right, come on down to your belly. We're gonna get some swimmer legs. Put your hands on top of each other, put your forehead to your hands, and then straighten those legs as much as you can. You wanna to try to point those toes and lift the whole leg up off the floor. So don't bend your knees, lift the whole leg up. I'm gonna to turn to the side so that you can see. It's about lifting those thighs as much as you can. Legs stay at the same angle. Woo! Keep it going, keep it going.
to your back. We've got cross crawls. Now, roll it down. Core tight. Fingertips to forehead, shoulders back and down, chin slightly tucked. You can do it here. You can tap. But the goal is to lift the shoulder up and over, not reach the elbow towards the leg. So pull those elbows back and really focus on the torso twist. Belly engage towards the spine. We're breathing, yes? There you go. All right. Can you lift those shoulders up a little higher and twist a little farther? Remember to tap your toes if you're feeling a little fatigued. Woo! All right, heels by the hips, shoulders back and down. We're going to get a single leg hip bridge. Pick a leg, brace that core. Lift the hips up, one leg up. We're gonna drop and press. Drop, press. Now our goal is to focus on driving that heel into the floor and thrusting the hips up towards the ceiling. My goal is for your butt not to hit the ground. You should be feeling that on the back side of that leg that's on the floor, driving and squeezing. Heel presses, glute squeeze. Woo! 15 seconds, then we get the other side. Shoulders back and down, core tight. The other leg lifts. Get ready, lift that heel, lift that hip, pressing the heel in, then down, up, down, up. It's not a lazy movement. It's a thrust up. You wanna feel that push, push. You're driving that heel into the floor.
and shoulders forward. Nice hurdler stretch. Lean in wherever it's comfortable. Reach forward. to work hard. Let's reward it with a good stretch. Come on up, kneeling, lunge. Let those hips relax forward. Keep the knee above or behind the ankle. Whatever feels good. Belly button is tight. We're going to shift the hips backwards, lifting the front toe. You can micro bend that front leg and then let that head reach towards the knee or wherever it's comfortable to feel that stretch along the back of that front leg. Keep the core engaged. Belly button's tight, release that. Come on down to hurdler stretch on the other side. Other leg in front, hips and shoulders forward. Lean in. Wherever it's comfortable for you. Relax into it. And then brace that core as you come up. We come to that kneeling lunge. Let those hips shift forward, just relax in it. Hands can come down to the floor, they can come up high, whatever feels comfortable for your body. Now shift the hips back, lifting that front toe, straightening that front leg as much as comfortable, and letting the head drop towards the knee. We come on up to standing. So quad stretch. Grab that leg and then bring the knees towards each other. Tuck the tailbone. Let's try and look right for you here. If you're having issues with balance, you can touch a finger to the wall or hold the ear to help balance. sides. Knees together, core tight. Tailbone tucks under. You feel that big stretch on the front. And then let's take a leg back. Let that heel just press towards the floor. Let those hips shift forward. We're going to get a little tricep stretch. Core stays engaged. Get a shoulder stretch. And then let's switch. Knee open in front, pressing down in the back. Tricep stretch first. Together. You can link those fingers. We're going to round the back, bend the knees, and reach those arms up. Shoulders spread wide. Get the back of the body. Core is tight. Let's step those feet wide. And let's just take a little side to side stretch. Get those abductors and adductors. Loosen back up again. Hold on one side. Take it down. Keep that knee open and twist towards that leg if you'd like. Belly button is tight. Let's shift again. Core is tight. Find the other side and hold. Again, you can turn the body closer towards that bent knee if you'd like. 
spine. Now hands come right to center. Core tight. Let the head begin to hang. You can bend the knees slightly. If you get dizzy, keep the head up higher above the heart. Otherwise, let the body hang. Feel the back of the body. Get a nice stretch. And if you like a little bit more, hands come behind the hips, linking fingers. And then up and over. Big stretch here. Belly button is engaged to keep the lower back safe. Bring the hands back to the hips first, if you went with me there. And then let them release to the floor. Belly button is tight. We're going to bend the knees and round the back as we inhale and roll up. Shoulder rolls. Fabulous. Great job today. Thank you guys. I'll see you again. Hopefully in person sometime soon.